What's going on everyone? In this video, I wanna break down one of the most exciting softwares that you could use today in 2023, specifically if you're advertising on Facebook. There's other use cases for this as well, which you'll see, but really this solves some of the biggest problems that almost every person running Facebook ads faces today. Okay, the first is gonna be if you're struggling with account bans and you need a solution. If you need access to new profiles, if you wanna make your own profiles without having them all get disabled, this will solve that problem. It's super cool, I'm gonna show you. The second thing that this will help you do is actually speed up and save time when it comes to launching. I'll show you how this new software will allow you to build templates that with a simple click of a few buttons, you'll be able to relaunch the same identical campaigns across multiple ad accounts, multiple business managers, and multiple profiles, which if you're a, a more advanced marketer and you're really scaling things, you're probably doing this already. It's gonna save you a ton of time and make your life way easier. The third thing this is gonna allow you to do is have the same features and benefits of multi-login, for example, or go login, where you have all your profiles on, on their own unique browser sessions with their own proxies. But on top of that, you're also gonna be able to see all of your campaign performance across every profile that's loaded up into the system. So without further ado, I want to, let's jump in and uh, we'll start walking through this. Okay, so here's the software. It's actually developed by my friends over at Blackscale Media. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And once we're logged in, we're going to see the dashboard here, right? And this is the first thing I wanna point out on the dashboard, right? There's a lot of information here to look at, but what I want you to focus on is right here where it says buy profile or farm profile. So this system actually has pre-farmed accounts that have been warmed up that you can purchase, right? So you get them from various different geographics, Austria, Netherlands, US, and you can see the age and when they were created, right? Which would save you the need to buy from sellers overseas that you maybe don't trust that only take Bitcoin, okay? You simply just add some funds to your account and then you can make your profile purchases. You can also farm accounts here. So when we go to farm, it's a very simple process. Basically, we would choose the type of account, like how we want the farm, because the success rates of the account sticking is gonna vary over time depending on Facebook systems. Sometimes mobile with phone numbers will be better, sometimes mobile app with email, right? So it basically simulates the profile creation process with all this. Okay, the, this next section here, we want, if we want the profile to uh, self-generate uh, and then also self-post, uh, you know, because you actually do that as well, you automate posting with accounts, uh, what, what this will do is you give it a topic like insurance and that's what it will actually post about, okay? Then you'll be able to load your own proxies in the software, which is really cool, and you can also rent proxies from the account itself if you don't have your own, and you, then you'll just select the geo, okay? And when you select the geo, this is gonna dictate the country that the profile is actually generated from. So if I wanted US, I would just choose US. I have a domain connected to the software that I own, so that'll be the domain that it registers the profile with. This will actually generate the, um, the SMS number as well. So when Facebook, you, it'll register the account with the phone number. So when Facebook actually asks for the, you know, uh, the, the code from the phone number, you can get it super easy. And I would just submit at this point. Okay, and then it goes in the queue and then this will start farming itself and I don't have to, literally don't have to do anything else. Okay, so that's the first thing. You can either purchase accounts or farm them yourself, right? Now, the next thing is going to be what I call uh, the, the bundle creator, right? So we're gonna hit create bundle. And then when we're here, the bottom right with the pop-up, if you could just cut out this time when that popped up, but don't let that show. Okay, so when we're in the bundle, we're gonna name the bundle. We're gonna call this uh, example bundle. And then this, this is built just like, literally it's Facebook with, within the software, right? So you can see here, I'm gonna pick my objective. I'll just do conversions or traffic, right? So we'll just do conversions for this one. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as daily. We're gonna go with CBO, we'll say like 100 bucks a day. And then from here, we'll leave everything else. We're not doing cloaking. That's another really cool feature this software has if you do use cloaking. 
it's more like black hat stuff. This is your ad set level. Let's say we're gonna target United States. So we'll pick United States. Okay, cool. And then from here, we're gonna hit next. And this is the ad copy for the primary text. You can see it filling out over here. We write our ad copy in here, just like you would on Facebook. Headline here for sure. And your description, okay? You pick the button just like we do on Facebook, right? So we'll say learn more. We're not cloaking, but we do have a destination. So we're gonna type in yahoo.com for the moment. Okay, uh, boom, cool. And then we need to upload an image. I'll just grab one of my logos here, okay? And then what we're gonna do, if you want multiple ads, you can just duplicate here and it'll literally duplicate. So this is where you really save time because not only when you're creating, it's actually become a little bit harder to create ads inside Facebook. Uh, it's a little bit glitchy when it comes to like duplicating things like CBOs and maybe changing them over to, to ABOs or doing little adjustments like that. It can kind of be a pain and uh, cause you headaches. So this will actually, this template is very simple to use. So you won't run into those kinds of issues. So, and remember once you build this template, you can, you save it, obviously it's a template, and then you could assign it to any profile, business manager, and ad account you want, and then relaunch with like five clicks, right? So it's huge, okay? And then if you wanted to go with multiple ad sets, right? Let's say you want to do like two ads per ad set, and then uh, if we go back to ad sets, I can do the same thing here. I could duplicate this, and maybe this one, instead of going broad, we go with detail targeting, and then we choose whatever we want, right? So where's our interests, interest people, demographics, interest behaviors. Okay, so just one thing to be aware of when you're here and you're, you're setting up the targeting, right? You will need, I mean, almost 99 out of 100 times I'm gonna do open and I don't use interest anymore. But if you wanted to, you will need to select the profile and ad account, which you can change later when you go to assign the template and then you'll be able to choose your interests and everything that you would do anyway, right? Boom, there we go. So now we have one ad set open and then one ad set with running. Boom, and you can see the other ad sets right here. Cool, we're next. So we got two ad sets, two ads per CBO, 100 bucks a day. You can see it right there. We have our new ad set, which is open and then our running and save. Okay, so now we have our new bundle saved and it's time to launch. This is how easy it is. If you've already added your profiles and your business managers and your ad accounts, I will simply go to the uh, profile I wanna launch with. So let's do, We're gonna do this one, okay? We will do, and you can see here, like I blurred out the ad account and business manager ID for privacy reasons, but you can see here, I could choose a profile that all these profiles are connected to this ad account. So let's do uh, way. We'll pick the page we want. You can actually see the statuses, right? We'll pick if there is a pixel, because it's conversions, we'll do this one and then Business managers are automatically signed. Now when I go here, pick the bundle. Uh, let me change profiles real quick. Here we go. Um, so we select, scroll down. You can see everything is here. We got our uh, ad, it's the one ad account right here. And then you see the bundles, everything else here, the ads, right? All we're gonna do now is we would hit launch. I'm not going to because I don't wanna launch this right now. But after I launch it, and you can make last minute edits here too, right? So that's pretty cool. You can add cloaking. If you do cloak, the software has built in cloaking functions. Uh, but really what, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna launch and then by the time this actually launches, within seconds of pressing that button and getting confirmation, I'm gonna pop into the ad account and open it up with the profile and I'm gonna see 
that a campaign is running or at least impending, okay? And you could also manually open the profile here, right? So it kind of, it's kind of looks like go login, multi-login. Got a bunch of accounts in here. This is their app that comes with this. Okay, so let's say I wanted to launch one of these. We'll open this one up. And it's gonna load a browser uh, session just for this profile. So I would need to log in. Um, here we go. And voila, so just kind of like multi-login, go login. I would have this. If I launch with this profile, which is obviously connected to the software and selected the correct ad account, I would see that campaign pending right there. And it's, it's like done, right? So it's pretty, pretty amazing, okay? Now, the third thing that I wanna show you was how it, it basically is like a, a fingerprint software, right? So if I go back to Ads Manager, I could actually see all my campaigns, spent a couple thousand bucks a day on all the accounts connected to this, right? So like it looks like we spent about 3,700 bucks today on this ad account, on, on all the ad accounts connected to this software, right? And these are loaded up, kind of like we showed over here. Each one is its own browser session. And then on the back end, you could see it all here. So like, let's say I farmed a new profile. Once it's created, it's gonna show up here and I'm also gonna see it here. Pretty cool, right? So last thing I'm gonna show on top of this is, uh, we'll do other videos on this, but you can actually, uh, let's say a profile gets restricted. These are perm bans, like this one got restricted. So I can actually use an appeal, one click appeal, this, this will uh, appeal the profile for me. It's not guaranteed it recovers, but it automates the, the process of doing the appeal. And this, I believe, works for several other types of prof uh, it's for, for business managers, ad accounts as well, and I believe pages too, okay? But this really just shows you how you can uh, mainly source accounts super easy, manage them, speed up mass launching. If you're, if you're a serious marketer and you scale pretty high, and you spend a lot across a lot of accounts, this is one of the best tools you can have. So. Hope that helps. Uh, I will be putting out more videos on this and I'm really excited to share it with you. I think this will be a game changer for a lot of people that are not only doing Facebook advertising but also need maybe some kind of automation uh, or at least a fingerprint software alternative when it comes to maybe TikTok accounts, Google accounts. It has a lot of the same kind of features and benefits but obviously the software is built for Facebook but you can kind of see how uh, this can and will be applied to other things as well.